everybody. I am just Lance and I would like to thank you all for joining me for another video. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed the shaved in tour. Um, real quick, two quick shout outs. Um, one is to Sierra Papa. Um, welcome. And the other is to Corey. Um, welcome to you as well, Corey. Um, both new subscribers. Um, I wish I could go ahead and give a shout out to every single person that is subscribed to my channel, but sometimes, you know, your name doesn't show up when you subscribe to the channel. Um, but for all those I have mentioned, welcome as well. Anyways, today is kind of a request video um, from a friend of mine. You know who you are, dude. Um, Anyway, so today, the razor I'm going to be using, which is kind of a request from my friend Christian, it is this one, a vintage 1912 Ever Ready single electric blade. This is the flip top shovel head. Um, in case you're not familiar with this razor, it's got this little tab up here. You flip it up, the blade sets in like so. You just position it right in these little corner lugs. Put the corners of the at the there at the at the corner of the comb, and just flip it down, close it, and it's secure. So that's the razor I'm going to be using today. Today the brush is going to be this one, my black fiber purest, the purest satin tip synthetic brush. It's not got the largest knot in the world, but it does the job. And one that I've used a few times, haven't used yet, it is a cream, and it is this. Cremo Coin Cream. You know, I kind of, when I first smelt it, I kind of went ahead and, you know, um, just momentarily got, kind of made me remember, just for a moment, that mint chocolate chip ice cream that my one of my ex-girlfriends used to buy which I begged her not to buy because we constantly was having it in the house and I just could not stand it but after uh, you know a couple of uses I got used to the smell and that memory kind of went away it is a slightly minty smelling cream uh, it is mentholated hence the coin. So, let's go ahead, let's get this shave started. Anyways, I hope you all have been doing well. Um, I just got out of the shower. I got, this is my third day, no, second day, second and a half day since my last shave. So, what I'll do, so I'll just take a little bit of the Cremo, stick it on there, There we go. And like so. Anyways, let me wet my face. There we go. And start a face lather. Um, I'm still kind of working with the cream. Oh. So I'm still kind of getting the ratios right. But, I mean, once you lather up with it, and, you know, it's a pretty good cream. Like I said before, it's kind of a thin cream, but Okay, 
tonight it just ain't a working out. Here we go. Yeah, these little Paris brushes, they work pretty well. This was actually the very first synthetic I ha ever had. Um, it was a gift from my sister's brother, I mean my, I mean my girlfriend's brother. Um, my family is southern, but we ain't that southern, folks. Um, no. Uh, no offense to anybody who's southern. Uh, my grandparents, I had my grandparents on my mother's side came from Arkansas and Oklahoma. So, you know, but yeah, my girlfriend's brother bought me this brush um, as a gift. So, it's a pretty good little brush. Okay, um, rinse my hands. Yeah, I don't get a really thick voluminous lather out of this Cremo, but you know, uh, could be the water. I don't know. We got pretty, pretty hard water here where I live. Um, you know, but most of my soaps work well. Make sure this blade is aligned right. Okay. Anyways, um, I honestly have lost count of how many shaves I've gotten off this blade. So I brought in extra gems. The blade is a um, Persona gem. PTFE, I believe the coating is called. Yeah, it's still cutting well. I mean, considering this design is what, 105 years old um, or so, or more, not bad. This razor was a gift from um, my girlfriend's, one of my girlfriend's very close friends. Um, it was her granddad or great granddad's, I can't remember which, but her son would have never, she said her son, wouldn't have really appreciated this, which is a shame, but, you know, um, so she wanted to make sure it went to somebody that would take care of it and she knows that one day this razor is going to go to my son um, you know in fact my entire shaved in one day will be my boys um, so every razor I get You know, I look forward to one day seeing my son use. Get the mustache. Um, you know, you know it's a thin cream. It's working well. Um, for me, at least. There you go. All right. So 
numbers passed here. Actually, yeah, it's not cutting as well as it did and it was new, but it's not doing bad at all. Anyways, second application. Yeah, kind of picked this cream tonight because, well, a couple of reasons. One, you guys ain't seen me use it yet. And two, where I live, it just gets so bloody hot. Um, and uh, I was, my girlfriend, she just got back from a trip out of town with her friend. Um, she went to see her friend, the one I actually got this 1912 from. Um, down there in San Bernardino. And she was just white today. And, uh, yeah. Dad, I got cookie. Anyways, I finished lathering up because my son Michael, he's here. Say hello, everybody. My, Michael, say hello to everybody. <laughs> uh, he's not his normal jovial self. Anyways, I went ahead and I finished up um, the lather part because he had to use the restroom and I figured you guys didn't want to hear him use the restroom so I'll go ahead and edit that little part out. Anyways, um, second pass against or across the growth. Yeah, yeah Bubba. Dude, quite nice. Oh, it's me. I broke that. I know you did. I just touched my book. I know. Okay, that side done. Yeah. Now go up against oh, the growth here on the neck. Where the what go, son? A bubbles. Yeah, don't worry about no bubbles, okay? Oh, they're on your shapes. They're a shape cabinet. Mm -hmm. A shape cabinet. Cabinet. I ain't got about that. I got. I ain't got about that. Okay. Go ahead and sit down. Don't mess with my lather, okay? With my brush or anything. Uh, I'm not doing it. Go across it, around the lip. I'm not doing it. Okay. Right now, my son is at the stage where everything is, he's not doing it. So, <laughs> yeah. You going out, Bubba? Okay. Go ahead and go on. Stay out this time, okay? You can't be running in and out. I will be right back. Okay. Mommy and you are safe. Okay. Hi. And he's on his way back. Okay, close the door, Bubba. So. Anyways, second pass down. Crossed the growth, went really nice. Go ahead and let me rinse off a little bit. Just a quick, add a little bit of work. There we go. And let her up for pass three. Michael, you need to calm down, Bubba. Okay. Michael, if you don't want to calm down, you're going to have to leave the bathroom, okay, buddy? You can't be real loud, dude. It echoes, okay? Okay. Anyway, so... Yeah. Normally, I'll wait until my son's asleep for these videos, but... I was just so overheated oh. and everything. Everything I did today, Mikey... And the sun. Mikey, okay. 
So I got overheated with everything I did, and uh -oh. I had to take a cold shower, so I figured I might as well get in a video. Because out here where I live in the Central Valley here in Southern, here in California, uh, um, we, we get up to, oh, uh, um, Excuse me. Yeah, but, but we get up to, you know, 109, 110, sometimes a little higher. And it's just, the humidity is just brutal out here. Um, you know, it's definitely not dry heat. Oh. Careful, Bubba. Michael, stop messing with stuff on the back of the toilet, okay? Anyways, gonna go against the grain. These Ever Rays are also really, really good head shavers as well. Um, oops, sorry, Bubba. Are you going out? Yeah, fine. Okay. Okay, go out this time. Hang out with Mama, okay? <laughs> no guarantees you will, but you know. He's a good kid. A little hyper at times, but a good kid. Absolutely loves getting in here when I shave. So, anyways, we're going to go up on the side. Okay, Bubba, this is the last time you stay in here this time, okay, buddy? Okay. All right, thank you. Are you going to use shave stuff again? Mm-hmm. Your shave? I've got a little yeah. bit of stuff to a little bit of cream to lip. Okay, this is the last time. What's the last time, bud? Shaving your face. <laughs> buddy, no, I'm going to be shaving my face for a long time to come. Uh, Besides, if I stop shaving my face tomorrow and I never shave again, who's going to teach you how to shave? Uh, you. You are. You teach me how to shave. Well, that's why I shave, so I can keep in practice for you. You're going to cheat me a model. No. Model? Uh-uh. Please. Please. You know how to shave. You got your own shave set. Please. I what? Teach you how to shave Please. with my stuff? Teach me to do it tomorrow. Maybe. Thanks. Thanks, Daddy. Mm-hmm. Did you say that? I said, uh-huh. Oh, right. So Try not to cut my nose off here, buddy. Oh, you, but you can't cut your nose. I can't? No. Oh, I got my nose! Oh, no, you didn't. <laughs> you just came with me? Yeah, I'm kidding with you, buddy. Get the chin. Really, daddy? Yeah, really. Yeah, you said that. I said that. Oh, you did, son. Okay. Uh, yeah. You kind of dissipated it here on my chin. You did? Um, you did it again? But it's got a lot of residual slickness going on here. So. I mean. I'm not feeling irritated or anything here. Yeah. I'll 
Okay, so here it is. There we go. All right, so, all right, I'm gonna cut away here for a minute and rinse off real well, and then I'll be back um, for the cleanup on my face. Uh, a little bit there. Okay, go on, go on. A little bit right there. Still residual slickness here. A little bit right there. So, the cream, I haven't been able to really get, like I said, a thick, rich lather. But, uh, it ain't bad. Uh, plenty of residual slickness, as you can see. A little bit right there. Okay, so. minute ago before I came back took a quick drink of water I keep a bottle I got a bottle of water in here cold water it's a Gatorade bottle <laughs> I ended up uh, getting some the flavor of some methylated shaving cream in my face in my mouth and <sighs> that's not real tasty a little bit of irritation yeah if I do my head, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna bank that blade and switch it out. But leave that set for a couple seconds. But yeah, if if you know you're new to this and you don't have any single edges, um, you know. Uh, and you're interested in these new like the saber and and you know um, some of the some of the gym style ones that's coming down the pipe uh, don't go out and spend a hundred plus on one just go ahead and pick yourself up an old ever ready or an old gym um, they're real affordable and that way so you'll you know figure out whether you like this style of shaving or not um, my friend Christian, he was talking about getting the saber, and I was like, "Dude, don't, don't. That's almost a two hundred dollar razor. Um, if you like the gym style razor, get one. But first, try an Ever Ready or a gym because you know it'd be a shame to drop almost two hundred bucks on a stainless steel gym style razor when you went ahead and used it and said I really don't like this style of shaving so anyways anyhow um I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut away from here I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this off and then I'm gonna go ahead and swap out my blade on my ever ready and I'm gonna go ahead and do the dawn and I'll be back for the post all right see you in a few hello everybody I'm back anyways um yeah I changed out the blade banked the old one because it did fine on my face. Went ahead and I said, what the heck, pulled it out, noticed there was a lot of lather under it, rinsed it off. Popped it back in the razor, went ahead, went to go ahead and try it on my head. It was tugging too much and I said, nope, put a new blade in. As you can see, the dome is, I missed a couple little spots on top, but you know what, it's fine for me. It's good enough for government work, as they say. Uh, anyways, so yeah. Uh, I had to take a little bit of a break for my son to brush his teeth after I shaved my head. And the feeling I'm getting from the Cremo cream, the post shave, it's it's not bad. I mean, it's not sterling level post shave or bare sterling level post shave or some of the other artisan creams or other artisan soap makers out there, um, which I don't know. 
no, Cremo's definitely not artisan, I don't believe. Uh, but anyways, uh, yeah, it's not as good as an artisan soap, but uh, it's good. It's not bad. For six something, for six ounces, it's not bad cream at all. A uh, little thin, uh, but it does the job, and it does the job well. Anyways, so, time for the post shave. Anyways, first off, like always, Dollar General, uh, the chasel. You saw I did a lot on my face. Uh, not a lot of irritation from that Ever Ready, especially with a new blade. Um, that Ever Ready with a new blade, it, it, it'll go. It'll go real well. Um, Anyways, so that's the Witch Hazel. Oh, real quick, I want to show y'all. There's something I forgot to show on my shaved in tour. Is this. Um, this plate and this basket thing. Uh, I, got the pl I got this little square plate here. Um, me and my girlfriend picked it up at our dollar store. It was a square container and it's the lid for it. I use the square container for cleaning vintage razors when I pick one up and it's gunky. I just, you know, use that for cleaning it in. And this had a handle and it had a door on this side, which was, um, you'd buy these like big square, oh, they look like, I don't know, giant birdseed triscuits or twist, uh, triscuits or whatever in the hell they're called. But anyways. Looked like this big square bird biscuit of seed that was compressed. And you'd put it in here, close it, and then you'd just hang it up outside. And the birds could fly down and peck on it, whatever. Well, it's a perfect drying rack. I go ahead, I get done with my soaps. And I just flip them upside down here, make sure they're nice and clean inside. Flip them upside down. Plenty of flow through for air. So the soaps, they dry real well upside down on that. Anyways, yeah, I want to show you all that. Anyways, um, so yeah, that was the Witch Hazel. Where did I put that aftershave? Right here. Brute Green. It's got menthol and it's slightly mentholated, so it goes good with the, with the, that. And, hmm. Oh, you know, for non-artisan aftershave. Oh yeah, it's got some burn. Yeah, you got some burn, but it's cool. All right, cools down real quick. I want to try that nine or the um, captain's choice, um, the uh, captain's choice um, cat and nine tails or whatever it's called, which is just really, really wicked when it comes to a burn. Cat o nine tails or whatever it's called. Because I hear it's got a hell of a burn. But, you know, so that's why I want to try it. I want to try to find snake bite too. But anyways, Nivea for sensitive skin, cooling aftershave balm. Whether it's summer or winter, I just love using this stuff because it just makes my skin feel, you know, makes my skin feel good. Um, I know there's some guys out there that doesn't like using it um, during, you know, aftershave balm during the summer because, you know, for whatever reason, their skin just doesn't work well during the summer. But I've got relatively dry skin all year round, so it doesn't hurt. Anyways, um, that's it for the shade. Let's take a look real quick. And what I used, I'd set this my razor up here on the side. 
That way my son wouldn't get it um, when he brushed his teeth. The razor was the Ever Ready 1912 flip top shovel head single edge razor. Um, the blade in it is a Persona Gym PTFE or whatever that coating is called. Blade, they come in like that, packs of 10. You just push the blade up and out and to take it out. That pack of blades, Walgreens, they're like five bucks for 10. The brush, the purest satin tip, black fiber synthetic shaving brush. Did well. Um, it's a little scritchier than the um, Razor Rock Plus Hop, but it's still a really good brush. Does the job quite well. Really nice travel brush on top of that. The shaving cream was Cremo Cooling Cream with mint. Great cream if you like mint, which I don't mind mint. Um, it's a good cream. Uh, the menthol feels really nice when it's hot. Um, I was watching Larry Dubar and he said that he likes to use it as a pre-shave during the summer. I'm going to give that a try one of these times. The aftershave. Brute Green. Witch Hazel, of course, was Dr. Dollar General. Witch Hazel. And... Nivea for sensitive skin, cooling after shape bomb. Anyways, that's the video. I hope you all have enjoyed it. Thank you once again for joining me. Um, thank you to those who are new to my channel. Oops. Every subscription means a lot to me. Um, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And go ahead and click that little uh, bell icon up in the corner there or wherever it is so you'll get notified of any new videos that I put out um, and if you ever have any questions you can contact me at just lance at gmail.com or no just lance 59 at gmail.com um, y'all have a good night good day have some great shaves and I'll see you all on the flip side of the blade. Bye-bye now.